Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of T-Dog RC back in the workshop and today we are looking at this which is the Volantex Sabre 920 which is a little 3D foam plane. Um, there's a good reason why I wanted this to be my uh, next project which I shall explain in a minute. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing today is a quick unboxing of this. It shouldn't take too long because it's a pretty straightforward model, I think. Um, quite a small one, but should be a lot of fun. So uh, let's get stuck in. Okay, so the reason I want to make this my next project is because I... Um, have a load of these batteries basically uh, and these are 1300 milliamp 3s which is what this takes um, and these are really cheap batteries um, or at least they were I must admit I've not checked the prices recently but when I bought these they, they were probably about 10 pounds each something like that so I've got a whole bunch of these and I use these to fly my um, Radjet, which is up there, which you can't see at the minute, obviously, but uh, yeah, I use these in my Radjet. Um, I get a lot of flight time out of that, uh, and I've got loads of these, like I say, so um, what I wanted was another little model that I could take down the field, like the Radjet, that literally, because of its size, you can just throw it in the boot of the car. It's really easy to transport, and uh, you get a lot of fun for the size and the price of these batteries, so that's why I chose this, because it takes these sorts of batteries. And um, I do want to sort of have a play around with doing a few more tricks and things like that, you know, things like knife edges and not full sort of 3D, but maybe a, a bit of high alpha uh, type flying. And this is a good model to start with because um, it doesn't matter if you, you give it a knock or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm not planning on, you know, really getting into 3D or anything like that, but just want to have a bit, bit of fun and learn some new skills. So uh, that's why I've gone with this and the other thing i want to test out is um i've got one of these um it's a free sky s6r and this is a stabilized receiver so it's got the gyro built in uh, and i want this uh, for because it's such a small model and obviously it will be affected by the wind it'd be quite nice to have um, a gyro in it um, but also I, I do want to properly learn how to do some tricks and, and uh, a few stunts and that sort of stuff but uh, I've never tried on a gyro these have like a 3D mode where it holds the last position which I know is cheating a little bit uh, and I'm not going to um, get used to using that but um, I thought it, it'd be, it looks quite complex to actually set it up but I thought this would be a good model to try it in and see if it actually works um, but it, as I said uh, I don't intend to actually use this to uh, to do the uh, the tricks with because uh, you're not you're just cheating yourself really. But yeah, it'd be good to have a play with that. So um, let's get this uh, on the bench. Let's get it unboxed and uh, see what we've got. All right, let's get the lid off. See what we've got. Um, um, so it's nicely packed with the bubble wrap, um, like the other Volantex model I had. First thing we see here is the prop, which is a um, 9 by 5 inch prop. And a couple of push rods uh, with clevises attached, and um, they're actually inside the uh, snake there as well. My favourite rolled up decals or stickers um, which uh, well I've learnt my lesson from the um, Phoenix 2400 I'm going to be laying these out flat for a good couple of days before I apply them because it was an absolute nightmare with that because they just kept rolling up on each other all the time right let's have a look at this little package here which is the looks like the uh, tail uh, and it's um, nicely secured to the box, so it's not going to go anywhere, which is always good to see. So let's have a look what we've got in here. Little tail there, and uh, as you can see, it's got that 3D quality about it. Um, absolutely tiny little tail section, but 
huge elevator and nice to see like with the um, Phoenix uh, it's got plastic hinges um, not just foam hinges so that's really good and there's a spa running down there as well and it goes through the um, the spa seems to go through the mounting point of the uh, control horn which is which is nice as well because that's uh, going to be a nice solid connection there so that's good that looks promising certainly with the movement there that you've got uh, let's have a look at the interesting okay that's the rudder um, but it's not attached to the fin so we're obviously gonna have to do that and put the hinges in ourselves tiny little tail wheel there Um, not entirely. Oh, that's. Uh, I think I do know what that is. I think they're like um, end plates for the wing or vortex generators that go on the wing. Um, and I think that is. It has like a um, a piece that goes in the middle of the fuselage. I guess just to give it an extra little bit of uh, stability. That goes in the middle of the uh, fuselage at the top. Um, not sure what that is but i guess we'll uh, we'll find out as time goes on oh i do that's the undercarriage sorry i think uh, i'm guessing they go over the undercarriage wire just to uh, make that a bit neater and then you've got a couple of spats in here uh, which obviously just go over the wheels i may or may not use those i'll see because they're never great for uh, grass which is what i fly off so let's get those things back Uh, next then let's um, let's have a look well I'll tell you what let's uh, we'll save the fuselage till last in true Petrinich Brothers style I've um, got a couple of bags of bits here uh, adapter for the motor and they're your um, control horns um, so these ones are different to the Phoenix ones so they, they have included the screw type with these which are um, uh, they're a little bit more fiddly but I do prefer these because they're a bit more secure um, and of course when you've got this sort of movement I guess uh, that's what you want little set of undercarriage tiny little things um, you know it is a very lightweight small model so I'm sure they'll be fine And then let's take a look at the wings. All right, so this is a PMP version, so servos pre-installed, CG mark on the wing, which is always nice. Uh, and with a 3D model, you want uh, quite a neutral CG, if possibly even ever so slightly tail heavy, um, not necessarily nose heavy like you would normally set a model up, but um, that's uh, something we'll have to sort of experiment with. I'll, I'll probably initially fly it slightly nose heavy because that's what I'm used to, and then sl slowly but surely um, slide the uh, CG back or forward, should I say, so the tail is tail heavy. But again, absolutely huge air runs. I mean, look at those absolute masses amount of surface there. So this thing's going to have some serious uh, turning ability and roll ability. Um, and again, plastic reinforced hinges, which is great. And I'm assuming, although I can't quite see, it looks like there's a carbon spar running down the uh, front of the wing there so that's nice uh, little instruction booklet as well in there there's that little uh, spoiler piece that I was telling you about there that kind of fastens on I'm not quite sure if I like it to be honest I might um, the jury's out whether I actually even put that on but um, we'll see and then uh, what else we got little nose cone there that's all good let's take a look at the fuselage Oh, before we do that, we've just got, uh, these will be for the air runs, a couple of uh, 
standard push rod with crevices on there. And as with the other Phoenix, uh, Valentex model I had, they've included the silicon fastener there, which is, uh, which is a nice touch. Um, right so here is the fuselage uh, and as you can see it's kind of a profile um it's, it's almost like a hybrid profile plane if there is such a thing i think i've just made that up um but it's uh, it's not quite a profile you know it has got some shape to it but as you can see it's very thin um nice and flat as well this way so that is going to create some lift for when you're doing a knife edge um, so that, that's going to be useful. I like this little design feature that they've done here, these kind of shark uh, gills um, just makes it look um, a, bit, a bit fancy. Uh, and then the tail, uh, the, the fin is already moulded into the fuselage so obviously we're going to have to just put that, um, yeah, and that's going to be one of the, either one of those. Quite surprised actually that how you'd think they might have moved the servos closer to the back but I guess it's down to getting the CG sorted but that's quite a long run for the uh, rudder and elevator uh, control rods but there we go and then I'm assuming that just pops off um, so you do get a canopy even though it is a very thin model and that just uh, yeah that's just got like a push catch on there so it's not a magnet it's just like a friction push fit so we'll have to see how that fares uh, what we've got in here, we have got a Volantex branded ESC 30 amp. Uh, and as you can see, there isn't obviously much room for a battery in there. The battery's just going to slot in there, which is why it takes those small batteries. And then the motor pre installed there. Um, so that's all ready to go. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, this is um, obviously, as you can see here, this is painted the red is, whereas on the uh, Phoenix, everything, it was completely white and then you uh, you put the uh, decals on to finish it off. Um, this one's obviously got this red bit here and the black as well. Um, and also it's got this pretty solid plastic doubler there, which is where your undercarriage is going to go. So that's that's quite nice that uh, that's that's been reinforced uh, with a plastic doubler. So that concludes my... Um, unbox the uh, Volantex Sabre 920. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, uh, and of course, please hit the subscribe button as well. I'm trying to build up to a thousand subscribers. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, so if you like what I'm doing on the channel, if you're into fixed wing RC, whether it's Bolsa, EDFs, foam planes like this one, um, FPV, all that sort of stuff, then uh, you definitely wanna be subscribing to my channel. Thanks again for watching and I will see you soon for the next one.